Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with another look from the Coastal Palette by Simply Posh. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started with what I have on today. I did go ahead and use the Tear Tear Foundation. And I got mine over at Amazon. I did get the smaller size. They have a small and a large size over there. And so it is the Cushion Foundation. I got mine in Cool 21. And as far as what I did for my concealer, I went ahead and used Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. Um, let's see, I did go ahead and use one of the Sandworm uh, by NYX as far as the lip gloss. And then I went ahead and topped it with the Made of Glow uh, by Essence. So, whoops, there we go. That's what I have on there. And... Um, Let's see, as far as a blush, I am really liking these Baby God Blush by Essence. I picked up a couple of them. This one's actually my favorite. I'll have the name down below, but it's can't read it from here. Uh, this is another really good one, and they have highlighters in this as well. And again, they do have those poofy tops, so you do have to do that. But other than that, really good product. And um, I did go ahead and use the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer. This one's in Buttercup. This is the lightest shade that they have. goes peachy on me. And then I went ahead and topped the blush with the Moira. Uh, this is Foxy Pink. And so this is what I used as a blush topper. And then I did use the, uh, yeah, the Daylight as far as my actual um, highlighter here. I'm going to add a little bit more of that in. So there's highlighter, and again, this is Daylight by, or yeah, Daylight uh, by Moira. So that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and mix my uh, mascaras today. So I started off with the Call Me Queen by Essence. And then before this dried, I went ahead and put on a Chubby Mascara over the top. This is, again, Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Wear. And this one's Chubby. So I think that it actually gives my lashes a little bit more length than they actually have. And I did go ahead and use, again, Essence Make Me Brow in the Dark Brown. And the palette that I went ahead and did another look with is the Coastal Palette, again by Simply Posh. And this is a really good palette for people who want to do easy neutral looks. And every time that I start to do an easy neutral look with this palette, it ends up going glam. And it's, it's me. I know that I'm the one making it go glam, but I really had put this uh, palette down as being, you know, set up to be a really easy kind of work palette that gives you a little bit of color. And again, like I said, I just end up doing these glam looks with it that I really end up finding really fun. Uh, this one I used, this one in the outer corner. Uh, then I went ahead and used this in the crease, this right above the crease to blend it out. This on the inner corner, so from here to about here. Um, I did go ahead and use this all over the lid. And so I went ahead and used that as a, my lid color. And then I did go ahead and use this peach right on the crease uh, to go ahead and give that a little bit more glam there. Again, if you go ahead and you just cover up the blue and the green row, if this palette is really, really set up to be a neutral, easy palette. I mean, you can put this on the outer corner, this one in the crease, and then this one on the lid, or as an eyeliner, and be done with it, and it'll take you five minutes. But like I said, every time I pick up this palette, I end up doing a glam look with it, just because it's so much fun, and these multi crowns are just really sparkly. They have the micro um, the micro glitter in them and so they have a lot of different colors and so I just end up 
plain. Um, I've definitely worn this one as an easy look. This one is an easy look. This one is an easy look. And it, they're just so much fun that this is a really good palette. So I would highly recommend it for anyone. Um, again, the mats work really well and the multi-chromes have a lot of the sparkle in them, which is micro glitter. This is the way that the eye look came out. So again, it came out a lot, a lot more glam than I had actually started out to do. But like I said, I really had gone ahead and put this in the easy, easy to work with pile, and it has a lot more depth than I thought it did. So I'm really glad that I picked this one up, and I will definitely be picking more up from Simply Posh. Um, I did go ahead and use the ColourPop gel eyeliner with this as well, and I think that's uh, finishing powder, one of my favorites, again, the Beauty Pie and the Triple Glow. So that's what I have on for that. And I think that's probably the video for today. Again, highly recommend this palette. Um, definitely, if you want to go ahead and do a work palette or a palette that you can wear to work that definitely has some neutrals but has a little bit of color in it as well. And um, I really didn't think this palette would do a lot of really good glam looks, but I'm finding a lot of those too. So again, would really highly recommend. I've been really lucky lately that the palettes that I've been um, getting, and I wanted to try some of the newer formulas that I hadn't tried yet, and luckily I got some palettes that worked out really well, so I'm really happy about that. And again, that is definitely the uh, video for today, and I'll see you later. Bye.